Hi everyone. So today I am trying out the Tree Art liquid glass. Now, the first thing I have to say is I'm a bit puzzled by its color. It looks yellowish right away, uh, not even dried or anything. So this puzzles me a little bit. Uh, will it yellow the white? And so today I thought I would go for a flip cup or a swipe because if I want white if my well I'll go for a flip cup today and do a swipe uh, with the rest of this and once it's dry and cured I will compare it with the painting where I used GAC 800 uh, compare the white see if it yellows it and um, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. But uh, for today, I'm just going to go for a flip cup, I guess. I have um, one of my favorite combination of color. Um, Quinacrylon magenta and teal and a little bit of gold. Uh, I think would look amazing. And we'll see how that goes. It has a nice consistency. I added a tiny bit of water. Uh, the paint are pretty much the consistency that I like them to be uh, and I mix them pretty much my usual way uh, one part paint to ten part medium uh, for the fluid acrylic and high flow acrylics uh, the colors I've used will be in the description and for the zinc white I mixed it about 40% uh, paint to 60% medium to keep it dense and heavy to try and get cells and I'm using the uh, golden uh, zinc white, not the Valheo, uh, that gave me weird but nice cells in my last two paintings. Uh, I got zinc white cells and that left me a little bit puzzled. I'll have to try more of the Valheo paints, I guess. Uh, try the zinc white with other of their paints, uh, see if it's uh, the level of pigmentation that's different or maybe just their acrylic polymer uh, could be it. So uh, back to the golden, uh, I know this works for me so <laughs> uh, before trying out more things back to the basics, well I I'm still trying out more things, I'm trying out this medium, <laughs> let's do this. All right, so cup here, simple flip cup, so pour the zinc white in, and it has a nice uh, stringy texture, consistency, I'm not sure. So if I get cells, they should form nicely. Put the teal in second because the teal is a pigment mix and it has a, zinc, a titanium white in it. Uh, so I am guessing it to be quite heavy in density. Heavier than the gold which is probably standing at a medium density. And finally Quinacridone magenta which is a light pigment. I do love uh, the fact that it keeps the colors really really nice and bright and we can really see that with the gold it was super shimmery super still metallic not like the GAC 800 where it dulls out the metallic colors because it's white and opaque when it's uh, wet but as it dries it goes transparent this one is already transparent I'm just hoping it will go less yellow as it dry. Whoopsie, almost knocked a bunch of stuff over. All right.
Here we go, I love this. It's gonna move a little bit, but I'm fine with it starting like that. Looks nice. I'm gonna give you a time lapse in case it changes, and I'm gonna cover my sides. All right, so it changed a bit. It's still changing a bit, slowly, but uh, kind of boring at this point because it's not changing much. So let's stop the time lapse and talk about this painting. Um, I'm loving all the little details and patterns uh, the gold is creating everywhere in the painting. Uh, that's the metallic pigments, I guess. Uh, just doing their things. Uh, I usually get this uh, with paintings, with paints, with metallic paints actually. And I love it. It's just really cool, really subtle. It adds, uh, it adds a lot of depth. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's, it adds a lot, I think. Um, and it's all over the painting. I didn't think the gold uh, spread it that much, but really here there is some here as well, and in the magenta as well. It's uh, very subtle in places and very obvious in other, and I think uh, this makes uh, this painting really, really interesting. Uh, the color combination, as I said when I started, one of my favorite. I, I just love uh, the teal and the magenta, and I thought the gold was a great addition to that, and I, I think I was right. Uh, I think uh, it's a nice painting, a lot of depth. The magenta is going to dry uh, not as flashy, darker, uh, a little quieter, not as much in your face as it is now. The teal, though, would pretty much remain like that. Uh, so I think it's going to uh, look quite interesting once dry, and I can't wait for it to dry um, and settle and have a final result. I love uh, the lines here, the corners. I, I don't know if you noticed that as the paint came out of the cup, as I um, did the corner thing, um, it came out like stripes. It was super cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I would love to try a painting with just like stripes coming out of the cup and hmm, an idea for later. <laughs> for now, um, I'm a happy painter, guys. Uh, really lovely. Uh, I like this medium. Um, I will have to try a swipe for sure to get some white because uh, the white um, being the dense heavy pigmented white that it is sank at the bottom. This was a fun experiment. I like this medium. Uh, as I said, I'll have to try it uh, in a swipe, uh, get some white in a painting and compare it one, one at once. It's dry. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, compare uh, the dried white with tree art, because if you look at the color, it, it's kind of yellow from the go. It's kind of a weird color, so it worries me a little bit, but I do like it. So I would like to compare it with uh, a painting where I have white, where I use GAC as a medium. And uh, yeah, I'll do a swipe with this, uh, where I'll get some white, and once it's dry, I'll compare it. Uh, see if it's yellower, I guess. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, on that note, uh, I'll try to keep this short, because I rambled a lot. Um, happy Painter, love this painting, can't wait for it to dry. Uh, a little bit of cells are forming, a little bit of little specks from the bubbles too. Uh, not a lot of bu bubbles have remained in it. I just used my hair dryer on low heat, low speed to pop the bubbles. It worked nicely. 
and I used a dry brush to get the more resistant one. I found out that it works really well to get the bubbles. Not sure why, it works. I'm gonna keep doing it. Also, uh, Arteza sent me more stuff to try, so um, I, I have a big project in mind. I can't wait to start on it. Uh, can't, uh, can't share it right away because uh, I'll need some tools to get it going, um, but uh, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, also, that's about it, yeah, really. Um, oh yeah, and I apologize if I missed a couple of videos uh, last week's, uh, last month was uh, a little bit hectic. Uh, I'll try to do better uh, in the future. Uh, Two videos a week at least and keep going on that uh, and I have this big project too uh, that will probably make it for a couple of videos uh, and I'm super impatient to start that so yeah that's it for today thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video bye